Hand arm vibration syndrome is a group of symptoms which accompanies prolonged exposure to vibration from the use of handheld vibrating tools. It is commonly known as halves, and it affects the fingers, hands, and arms, hence the name. Studies estimate that over 2 million workers in the United States are potentially exposed to these vibrations, the largest demographic being those in construction, farming, and automobile manufacturing industries. There are dozens of handheld vibrating tools that could cause halves, the most common of which include power drills, chainsaws, pneumatic drills, jackhammers, powered jigsaws, sanders, angle grinders, and polishers. It is estimated that 1 in 10 people who work regularly with vibrating tools may develop halves. These vibration injuries are divided into three groups depending on the area it affects. It could be neurological, vascular, or musculoskeletal. Neurological injuries are caused by neurological damage to the nerve cells in the fingers, hands, and arms. The damage is irreversible. The early signs are numbness and tingling. The latter sign is severely reduced hand function, which could result in dropping things easily. A common example of neurological injury is carpal tunnel syndrome. Muscular injuries are caused by damage to the muscle structure. This may result in reduced grip strength. Vascular injuries are caused by its effect on the capillaries in the hand and fingers, causing vasospasm. This reduced blood flow to the hand results in numbness and blanching or whiteness of the hand. According to experts, hand-arm vibration syndrome gradually increases in severity over time and can take anywhere from six months to six years to develop. Symptoms commonly reported by workers include attacks of whitening or blanching of one or more fingers when exposed to the cold, tingling and loss of sensation in the fingers, loss of light touch, pain and cold sensations between periodic white finger attacks, loss of grip strength, bone cysts in fingers and wrists. The hand-arm vibration syndrome is irreversible after it is fully developed. The development of vibration injuries is individual specific, meaning that it affects each person's body individually. Due to the varying effects on the body and the time at which the symptoms can onset, the best method is to prevent halves from ever forming. Luckily, there are many ways to prevent halves. Aside from using anti or low vibration tools, workers who use vibrating tools can use the following steps. Hold tools as loosely as possible and in varying positions. Ensure that tools are well maintained. Use tools correctly and use the right tool for the job. The aim is not to use excessive grip or a tool for longer than necessary. Take regular breaks for at least 10 minutes away from the tool. Short bursts of work are better than long periods of work without a break. Keep warm while at work especially your hands. You should not smoke. The chemicals in tobacco can affect blood flow. Wear the appropriate hand gloves. Train workers on the hazards of working with handheld vibration tools and safety measures necessary to control the risk. Unfortunately, there are not many proven treatment methods for halves. The most obvious suggestions provided by doctors are to stop using vibrating tools, if possible, avoid medications that can make circulation to the fingers worse, and to stop smoking. In some cases, medications that relax the blood vessels have been successful in patients. Let us know what you thought about this video in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on the latest in workplace safety information.